welcome to the Chanel Haute Couture Show. Paris, today we go to Chanel. It's Haute Couture, baby. Virginie Viard is having fun. Jay Dragon is inside a lion. Fantastic. Vanessa Paradis talks to us. Angel talks to us. Tilda Swinton, Marion Cotillard, they all jump on Virginie Viard. The French genius artist Xavier Veillant builds the decor. The collection is Majorettes, elevated Majorettes, haute couture Majorettes. Oh, J'adore les Majorettes. <laughs> We have exclusive access backstage to zoom on the details and embroideries. And wait for the haute couture bride, always the most anticipated silhouette of the season. The most precious embroideries, cute puppies everywhere. Yeah, I love it. I'm the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Loïc Prigent and I film fashion, couture, elevated majorettes. Subscribe to my channel to see the spectacle of it all. Leave a comment and share the video with your mother. Mood board. We're in Chanel family and we're all together here, which I'm obsessed with. The set is an invention of French artist Xavier Veillant. He's known worldwide for his sculptures of men and women and objects and animals. It's the third time he collaborates with Virginie Viard for Chanel Couture. And it's a carte blanche. You know it's based on originally on the uh, Chanel Bastillon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I had to invent something else, mm -hmm. so more like to refresh a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You're inside Lion. I feel like, I mean, yeah. Alice is Wonderland, you know? Moi, je me sens un peu comme des grands jouets, comme des petites figurines qu'on pourrait construire en miniature et puis que ça devient, ça devient géant. Il y a un côté euh, abstrait, absurde et, et hyper poétique, quoi. J'ai jamais vu des photos ici brutes, euh, un défilé de haute couture. <rire> C'était l'idée d'avoir comme euh, plusieurs villages qui auraient dû s'associer avec euh, des trucs un peu dépareillés. Ah, Interville Interville, mais sans les vachettes. Plutôt la, la parade, le carnaval, des choses comme ça. Animal starts to glide on the set. A beige bestiary, the bird. A pixelated dog on a mauve piedestal. There's a Chanel chameau, a horse, a crocodog, a lion. And with a lion, everybody recognizes the Gabriel Chanel emblem. The door opens to let the first model appear. A red lip and that's it. Call officier Monsieur Loyal Jacket, almost a 18th century marquee frog jacket with a Chanel high collar clients love so much of a fringed effiloché tulle skirt. Lolibaya gets out of her animal. Golden naive silhouettes of rabbits and more made by the embroidery atelier of Montex on her plastron. The tweed is watiné for a cute volumey effect. A bow tie, one hand in pocket, there's always pockets on Chanel Couture. It's a self-imposed rule. It's all about contrast. The floor is rough, but the light is the softest. The animal totems are in rough material. Slats of cardboard, plywood structures, but they hold the most precious embroidered creations. On nous emmène dans un monde un peu enfantin, bien que hyper design, le bois, le carton, les animaux. J'ai trouvé ça merveilleux. Mariam de Vinzel in a pure A-line coat, a palto without couture, the fabric is molded. Even the dog has a reveal. This coat dress is inspired by the costume of Jean Marais in the cult musical Peau d'Anne. The buttons are in the shape of a Bernard Lermite, a hermit crab. A crystal pixelated corgi face on the tweed, maybe an homage to the late Queen Elizabeth. This corgi is called Toto. Do you see the workmanship on the lines? All the lines fall perfectly in line. Only a few ateliers in the world can do this kind of wonder, and Chanel can. You need good eyes to see the ladybirds on the four buttons. Je pense qu'il y a des petits animaux dissimulés dans la création, genre des, des cerfs, j'ai cru voir des petits chiens et tout. A traditional fashion show starts with day wear, and day wear is tire, the suits, the tweed, the flu, meaning the dresses, are shown at the end. The Chanel jacket becoming a dress with a decoration of a semi-belt. It's called a martingale. The white boots typical of the majorettes. They are done by Massaro, the official Chanel shoemaker. Short skirt with basque and pleats, typical of the majorettes. Ah, the euphoria of the majorettes, cute capes, 
dance moves in the street, sublime baton choreographies, majorette with a ceremony hat, Virginie Viard exploring popular feminine cliches, deconstructing luxury. The joyful unifying event of the year, satisfying dexterity, a pagan festival. Fun floats, la fête des fleurs, boats, lobsters, boiled eggs, two seals, the whole village in a farandole. Virginie Viard did a reference to the Formula One circuit hostesses in her cruise collection in Monaco, and now the majorettes. Cool heroines with coordinated ensembles, with breads called Galon Denis, which means they're all done in house by the atelier of Monsieur Denis on the old looms of Madame Pouzieux. Moi, j'ai vu, euh, j'ai vu des majorettes aujourd'hui, et moi j'adore les majorettes. <laughs> J'aimais bien l'idée des jupes bouffantes avec les vestes structurées, les gros boutons. An elevated majorette with cuffs of pearl tassels on the sleeves. This is not tweed, but untied lace. The big boss of the majorette has crystals on the tweed. The French plastron is inspired by pom-pom girls' costumes. Butterflies on the buttons. This is tweed heaven. Animals are sprinkled all over the collection. Mysterious motif of sparkly pixelated cats on the pocket, embroidered by Le Sage. Pixelated jumping horses in pearls, crystals, and sequins on the plastron, also by Le Sage. Ilan Nua with motifs of silver jumping dogs made in sequins embroidered on a first bed of black sequins by Le Sage. Wearing the zoo. Love it. Yeah. In her Rue Cambon apartment, Gabrielle Chanel had many sculptures of animals. Frogs in metal. She had lions, many of them. One chameau. Birds on the Coromandel panel. Sculpted golden deers. A stag, actually many stags. A Nokia in a coat embroidered by mysterious motifs of cats. You're looking at 300 flowers. It's further marquetry done by Le Marié in the 19M Atelier in Paris, Aubervilliers. Crystals and pearls are added to make it even more satisfying. The long sweeping dress typical of Chanel in the 1930s. It's crepe Georgette and there's mousseline underneath to give it this je ne sais quoi of volume and movement. This is pure Chanel flu. La dentelle, the simplest tank top becoming a grand dress. A tweed coat inspired by the coats of magicians, just like Mickey in Fantasia. The tweed is made of threads of lace and it's a technical wonder. It's beautiful, it makes me really feel um, like a warm and, you know, kind of dreaming. At Utakesh, the ruffles on her lapel and her skirt are done by the embroiderers of Paloma. A mix of pearls and silver mini tubes, silver and black spinning tops to give light and shine. Shine bright like a diamond. I love my outfit, it's so cute. It's like, I wish I like went to school in the 90s so I could wear something like this to school. This dress was cut on Amanda Sanchez, the Chanel in-house model. <laughs> There's two dresses here. Feather marquetry on her first dress. Each feather has some stress embroidered on it, which means 10,000 jets. The ruffles on the second dress took two weeks for seven artisans to make. Et pas moins de 18 000 perles et toupies brodées à la main. The most elongated bust another Chanel premium obsession, an apron of rabbits done by Montex and volutes of feathers on the skirt done by Le Marier. Almost a crinoline, hundreds and hundreds of time-consuming organza layers. The top has a scene of a deer embroidered by Paloma on silk tulle, by color straps with flowers. A mammoth, un bison. It's a new surprise. The bride. Birds, hirondelle on the tulle veil, embroidered by Montex with white and see-through sequins and crystals. Do you feel the attention in the room is different? Like people are looking at you like more intense. Yes, of intense. course. <laughs> I'm the bride. <laughs> 
crêpe georgette short dress. This is a fun wedding, not your typical statement wedding. All the birds are flying, gliding, hovering. We've come a long way since the institutional couture brides, with hair that took eight hours to sculpt and trains longer than the Great Wall of China. Moi j'aime bien que la mariée elle soit légère, on aurait dit qu'elle sortait des champs quoi, des vrais champs de blé. Virginie vient slaloms between the giants and takes her bow with Xavier Veillon. Voilà, this was my channel report for Haute Couture Spring Summer 2023. Subscribe to my channel to see everything about Chanel. Nice videos about Angel, Vanessa Paradis, le fun de la couture. Leave a comment about your favorite totem. Of course, share this video with your mothers and your sisters and brothers so they can add it to their mood board. Cheers!